set notation with Venn diagrams and two-way tables. So last lesson we looked at Venn diagrams and we placed elements of the sets into the appropriate zone in the Venn diagram. You're more used to doing Venn diagrams where you place the number of elements in a set in the diagram. So we'll do an example of that. From a class of 30 students, 12 enjoy cricket, and they've given you the abbreviation for the cricket set, C. 14 enjoy netball, M. And 6 enjoy both cricket and netball. And the question would say, illustrate this information in a Venn diagram. So there's some aspects that you should remember from some years back, but let's mention it. When we say 12 students enjoy cricket, that is in total 12 students like cricket. It's not 12 put their hand up because they only like cricket and there's some more who like cricket and netball. Uh -uh. This 6 is part of this 12. The total number of students who enjoy cricket in this class is 12. It will not be the other way. If they say 12 enjoy cricket, they're going to have to say 12 enjoy cricket only if they really wanted to say that's not the total. So, 12 enjoy cricket is the total. We label our Venn diagrams C and N for cricket and netball. And if you want, the total in those sets can go outside the Venn circle. It's not necessary, so 13 enjoy netball. That's the total in the netball set. I'm going to keep saying that because it's important. Where you start putting your numbers in the Venn diagram, six enjoy both. Six goes in there. That is the intersection of C and N. So basically, if we were writing it in set notation, which we don't need to do, the question hasn't asked us, the number in the intersection of C and N is six. From there, you can work out the other two zones. So this here would be C only. C itself has to add up to 6, so this is quite obviously 6. The number who played netball has to add up to 14, so this is quite obviously 8. There are 30 students. You do not add these up because you'll get the wrong answer. You'll count these twice. You add to get the total who like any of them, that is, the number in the union of C and N. We add these numbers. We'll get 20. So the number in neither C or N is 30 minus 20, which is 10. That range is there. And it is a good idea to put the total number in the sample space, which is 30, outside your Venn diagram. The important numbers that absolutely must be in every diagram are these four. Now, from that, if you got asked for the number in N only, that would be 8. If you got the number in C, that would be 12. So there's a difference between C only and C. From that, we can also get the probability. We'll ask some probability questions in a minute. This information can also go into a two-way table. Now, a two-way table, you might remember, gets a little bit more information. It gets not only the event, likes cricket, but the complementary event does not like cricket. And the important part of the two-way table is the four interior zones. Option one, or set one, goes here. So cricket. 
and its complement goes here. Does not like cricket running out of space. Set 2 enjoys netball. Sorry, I changed the language there. Likes netball. And not like netball. So the two sets that we're given, cricket and netball, get separated out and the set and its complement. The question likes netball, its complement does not like netball. Now, the four zones in the middle here get the four numbers from there. So, likes both, likes netball, likes cricket, this number comes down there. Likes cricket, does not like netball. This is C only. There's our C only. That's six. Likes uh, netball. Does not like cricket. That's N only. It's eight. And does not like cricket. Does not like netball. That's ten. So the four important numbers in the Venn diagram are the four important numbers in the two-way table and they go in here. The total, this is the number in set C, 12, the ones who like cricket. This is the number in set N, 14, the numbers who like netball. And quite obviously, if in any row or any column you have two numbers, you can fill in the rest. So that's 18 who don't like cricket in total. That's 16 who don't like netball in total. Either of these added up will give you the same number, which is 30, the total number in each, uh, in the set, in the universal set. From that, any sort of probability question could be answered. Incidentally, if you're ever having trouble making a Venn diagram, because some of them are tricky, make a two-way table instead, they're much easier, and then pop it into a Venn diagram. So, if I was asked for the probability that a randomly chosen student liked netball, or say the probability that a random student liked netball only, oops, running out of space. From that, if it's netball, that's anyone who likes netball. That's 14 out of 30, 7 out of 15. But netball only, those are the people who like netball, but don't like cricket. We might get asked for the probability of student liking both. Use the correct notation. If I say both, don't write both. The correct notation is that is the intersection of sets C and N. So this is the probability that a student likes both cricket and netball, and that would be 6 out of 30, which is 1 fifth. So, remember which numbers are totals. Remember that this is cricket only, likes both, netball only, and likes neither. And that a two-way table has a little bit more information than a Venn diagram with likes cricket, does not like cricket. The event and its complement. The event and its complement.